Hello and welcome to my fast walkthrough of installing Viper controller on VMware Workstation. First of all, we go to Google and search for Get Viper. This will bring us to the EMC Viper software only solutions page. We can download the Viper trial version there for free um, to our local share. Once downloaded, we just open the file and copy the directory to a desired temporary place. Once we've done this, um, we open up our PowerShell and start Lab Builder. I have my icon here. So that opens Lab Builder to the latest version. If you haven't upgraded, upgrade with Lab Builder minus Action Update. The first thing we go into um, the Viper Master um, CD directory, and there's a OVF and properties file that I will burn onto a virtual CD drive. Just adjust your IP network settings in there for your needs. Once this is done, we start the import viper ova.ps1 and just give it the directory and the file name of the viper ova that we just extracted. There is another thing we need to specify. We could specify virtual machine name and a template name, but um, we can just use the defaults which installs the Viper 1. Um, during the extraction, we extract the disks um, in the Viper OVA file and then convert them to a VMware Workstation format. Once this is, this is done, the um, virtual machine automatically starts. It boots up into Viper. Um, it does the first boot and ends up with a red warning that Viper isn't cor is not correctly installed because it was missing the automatic configuration from um, the um, vCenter. Because we don't have vCenter in place, we just press C to continue here. And once we press C, the boot continues. Um, and we just log in with root and the password is change me with capital C and capital M. Um, the next thing is we just go to mount the CD drive I automatically created, um, which is um, in slash dev sr0 zero and mount it to slash mnt. And from slash mnt we copy the files to slash etc. Those are two files, a config file and a short script. Um, and once we've done this, um, we just run um, again config.sh from the scripts directory. This will inject the OVF and properties we just created or we just modified into the Viper configuration stack. Um, load the properties into the configuration, does a reconfig of the environment, reloads the network configuration, and we are done with the config. The whole process should no longer last than, let's say, three minutes, um, and your Viper configuration is done. Now comes the hard path. Um, once this is done, we have to wait. I know we all hate waiting, so therefore we, we just tail the um, portal SVC log and see if the web server is already running. So it's running, but it's still doing some stuff under the covers. So we have to open a web browser um, and go to um, the IP address we created or we, we selected for Viper, in my case it's 192.168.2.9 and we have to do what we don't like, wait. It takes approximately um, two to five minutes um, until the website is ready, until everything is configured and Viper has uh, dehydrated um, in order to get up and running. <coughs> Um, our patients get honored with a brand new installation of Viper. Um, the next thing that we need to do um, is just upload the license file into Viper. So it just takes a few moments. I prefer not to cut the video here um, to show you how fast this is done. So we can just try the HTTPS and it doesn't work and we do it again. And we will be back shortly. Normally I would take a coffee right now, but um, if I jump up for a coffee, I guess the thing is ready. So we just do a refresh and we see, okay, the website is ready. Um, we ignore the, the warnings for an unsecure page. And we just type in our root and change me password. And once we've done this, we are in. 
I should, and then we have to upload the license file. We just browse for the license file, which is in our downloads directory. Um, uh, our extracted download, and we just select the license file and upload it and continue with the configuration. So next we have to type in a new password for the system, um, for root and for system users. Once we've done this, um, we have to adjust our um, settings for DNS and for NTP. And select that we don't want to use Connect EMC and say Finish. We don't need to click on SMTP settings um, because otherwise he will insist on having an SMTP server. Once this is done, the installation of Viper is finished. So the system's currently in an updating mode. So we can refresh that and just take a look at the dashboard, how the utilization is. And once the updating is um, finished and the updating turns to green, um, Viper is done with installation.